theoretically, a cat can survive a fall from any height, at least within the Earth's atmosphere. How is that physically possible? Let's find out. First, and most famously, cats always land on their feet. This uncanny ability puzzled physicists for years because the laws of physics tell us conservation of angular momentum shouldn't allow you to just turn on a dime without some external force. Cats get around this by twisting the front and back of their bodies around in opposite directions, kind of like a pepper grinder. First, they tuck in their wee little front legs to the front halves of their bodies, which spin around first. Then they corkscrew back in the opposite direction, swinging their hind legs around. It's a pretty advanced technique. When plummeting through our atmosphere, objects reach max speed when air resistance balances out against the pull of gravity. So based on an average cat's size and weight, we're not talking about a lasagna scarfing Garfield here. A falling cat's gonna top out at about 60 to 75 miles per hour. That's very fast, but for a wee little cat, quite survivable. In fact, cats have survived falls of even greater than 30 stories. Research has even shown that cats are more likely to survive falls from greater than seven stories than they are to survive falls from lower heights. That's probably because once they reach max speed, cats actually chill out and relax rather than stiffening up their legs like they might for shorter falls. And this may help them land in a way that reduces injuries. Or the more depressing theory is that it's just a matter of reporting bias, that people whose cats plunge tragically to their deaths simply don't report the incidents. So even if you don't like cats, you can still fall in love with feline physics.